the Karnataka CID Division wants to fight cybercrime with someone who understands cybercrime better. In a public-private partnership initiative, the government of Karnataka joins hands with Infosys Foundation and Data Security Council of India to handle cybercrime investigation. And time has come when we need to upgrade our capabilities, get more and more modern gadgets in the form of hardware, software, etc. And not only for the police officers, but also for prosecutors and the judges. Together, we are building a state-of-the-art Center for Cybercrime Investigation Training and Research at the CID headquarters befitting the IT capital of India. With high-tech training facilities, we are strengthening our capabilities. The center will focus on the following activities. Forensic investigation support, legal and policy research, research and development, collaboration with national and international agencies, linkages with academia and IT industry, advanced training and events. I'm glad that Infosys Foundation has come forward to join hand with CID in Karnataka State Police. We are setting up this center jointly and the unique part of this arrangement is that not only Infosys Foundation is setting up this center providing us hardware, software, but also we'll be maintaining it for next five years, including the operating costs and also providing resource persons from industry and academic area. The center will not only investigate cyber crimes, but also create a legacy of cyber crime experts. The center will act as a nodal agency for all police stations in the state bring everyone up to speed with modern crimes handhold officers who are not in the CID and create a curriculum to give them SOP and offer internship opportunities for advanced training Infosys Foundation is also sending number of officers abroad because some of the gadgets which have been provided to us are so unique that hardly anyone knows how to use them in our country so we are deputing our officers abroad to get trained and they would act as a trainers for other people to be trained using this center. It's a great occasion that we are launching this center and uh, I hope this would set a new example in the in future for PPP between law enforcement agencies and industry.